Matt, nice to meet yeah. you. Yeah, uh, Kenneth. Yeah, and there's the oil change, and then the, the, hopefully that's the right O-ring. So, yeah, here's the deal. The reason I asked if you got the stuff is because I was like, when you sent me the message, I was like, I was like, the O-ring, and so I looked it up, and apparently it's a super common problem on these vehicles. That's and what I so, was told. Yeah. Uh, I had O'Reilly's, we had to like cross reference it off the, oh, like, the boy. internet because everybody's calling it something different. Yeah. One's a cooler, one's an old filter housing. So we're hoping that's the right one. Hopefully so, man. It, it leaks when she, it runs on this side. And yeah. That's supposedly right there where it's at. Apparently it's a notorious thing on these and I wasn't aware, so. But now I am. You know what I mean? So you guys want to see what it looks like? Pop this head, get some light through. Oh. <laughs> well, all right. Oh, well, that's a leak. So we got a leak right here. Some coolant. Uh-oh. <laughs> Good thing we're doing an oil change because there's none in here. <sighs> all right. So let's take a look. Holy shit, it is leaking like a son of a gun. So here's the deal, guys. We're going to drain this oil, and then I'm going to pop this off. I'll show you how. I, uh, I'm, Dude, it's pretty easy. It is pretty easy. Oh, what the hell? Do you see that? Well, here we got a hose clamp that's not even attached to nothing. So got to figure out where that's going to go. All right, so the seal is, or the O-ring is just right behind this oil filter housing. So you can see that it's leaking clearly from right there, but we're gonna go under here and then you can see from right there, it looks like that, it looks like that hose is like ghetto rig there with some sort of aftermarket hose clamp and that's dripping back there as well. So that's not a 24. All that is a 24, dude. the 22 guys third time's a charm it's a 22 all right I'm just gonna uh, loosen this up literally all I had to do is crack it loose so we're gonna spin this free that was things long dude all right, so it's that easy, guys. Ew, that's yucky looking. All right, and this will just come forward. Oh, we got another bolt down here. Oh, there it is. Damn, I thought a dog was coming after me. Okay, so I got you guys hoisted all silly, so you're getting like a super sideways angle. I'm trying to just get this thing turned enough to see it. Oh, there it is. There it is, okay. Pop that sucker out of there. <laughs> Let's hope so. Ooh. Dude. I don't know. I don't know if that would work or not. Let me see. No, nope, this ain't it. You see that, guys? It fits around it, but it recesses too far deep. So oil will get past all that. Yo, so it's not the right one. 
So I, I mean, I tried it, you know. Yeah, yeah it just recesses way too far in there. So we need something that's like this. I and the all the they, way had around. A, they told me they had a kit that had a bunch of O-rings in it. Well, and two man, here's the deal. You need so I noticed quite a bit of different stuff. There was like you had some ho the hoses that go to the uh, oil filter housing itself is looks like they are leak looks like they're leaking as well. So okay. and they're just little sectioned hoses. So I mean, there wouldn't be they would be easy to replace. But I would recommend getting those as well if you're gonna do that. And then also, I would have this tested for a radiator leak, cause or a coolant leak, because it looks like you're leaking right there. Yeah, it's there. been like that since we got it. Uh, I can't remember he said something, but yeah. Yeah, so I just, I mean, I can, there's little things that I can look at. But yeah, as far as, so I can show you if you don't, if you want to take a look. So like these, like that. Yeah. Yeah, they're all, and like, you can just feel them, man. They're yeah. worn down. But this one that goes back is a little bit worse. It actually, damn it. Yeah. It actually has a, uh, see that hose clamp? Yeah. So someone did some work to it before and then even like left the old hose clamp above it. You know what I mean? And so, well, that, just need to run down and grab some holes from. Yeah, if, yeah, if you want to see. I'll see if they got that seal. In absolutely, the yeah. So that way, because you're like 40 freaking three minutes out. Yeah, I don't <laughs> you want to come back. Yeah, dude. So, all right, I'll give you this. Here, I'll give you this for the yeah. reference, yeah. and then I'll give you this back to return. Yeah, they basically just right across the street here. All right. Do you know what size uh, hose that is that I need? I can, uh, well, I can pop this off, but I, you would have to get the hose if I take it off. Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to just grab some hose. Yeah, all right. Put that bad boy out, I don't want to. Yeah, I mean, I for sure would replace them. Okay, so here it is. So yeah, look, I was like, oh boy, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get one of those. I, I mean, they'll sell these things. Oh, do they sell that? Yeah, part? yeah, they'll sell them. I was just getting this hose for the reference. Yeah. Okay, so he went down to get some hoses, and this is what I was talking about, dude. So it looked like it was coming out right here, and if you see, this hose is just a bit too big for it, so. But this is where that O-ring seal goes. Ew. That's what I was... Well, I thought about just cutting that off right, right there. Well, the reason why that wouldn't work is because uh, you would have to flare it. You see yeah. these right here? Yeah, I, I was just thinking about getting it by until that new one come in. Well, I mean, I've tried to do hoses like that, I'm not going to lie to you, and it's never worked out yeah, for me. So. But, I mean, I was thinking if maybe, because this is from a rubber hose, and it goes to this, and then yeah. there's the hard line. The hard line's to keep it secured yeah, into place. Yeah. So, I mean, we could do away with it. We would just have to have a long enough line that would reach, goes up to right here. Oh, yeah, no, it goes to the thermostat housing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, it go, yeah, it's from right here. So, um, yeah, you would have to have a long enough hose that would go from there down to the uh, oil filter housing. And the witch, I don't think that would. No, I just got enough from the. So I got some JV Weld. I don't know if it'll hold though for a couple days. I cleaned it up pretty well. Dude, I couldn't tell you. I really couldn't because yeah. I don't, I've never used JV Weld. I mean, I've used it in the past on certain things, but never anything. What's today? Sunday. They said the earliest it'll be in is Tuesday. Yeah, and I wouldn't be able to come out Monday anyway. It's on, uh, yeah. How much was this, if you don't mind my asking? Yeah. Figures. Oh, yeah. I was just trying to keep her from not being down in a car for a couple of days. Yeah. She I, don't go far. She just works right over here. I feel you. I feel you. It's odd that this wasn't being obvious. It's just right you know to the what I mean. Point. Yeah. It's about to go. Yeah. I mean, you can tell that whole line's starting to rust out. Yeah. So. Just become brittle. Well, man. So, dude. So I don't think it's a high pressure thing. I don't either. I just. I could. I mean. 
I could give it a 